How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about Empowering Chains. Well, they, they technically changed the name of it to Chains of Devastation. Now, what this does, the new morph of it, basically whenever you launch yourself to someone, you gain Major Berserk for 10 seconds on a DK. So, technically speaking, technically, technically, you do not need Sea Serpent Coil if you put this on your build. And you'll get it for 10 seconds. And this also increases your, um, your whip stats as well. So you could take off Flames of Oblivion if you're Stamina, you know, if you wanted to. If you're Magicka, you could take off, like, um, the Magic Morph Venom Claw, which is... I kind of forgot the name, but... You, I don't really use it, <laughs> uh, but, oh, uh, Burning Embers, that's it, Burning Embers, and you can use this instead for 10% more damage for 10 seconds, and it's a cool, it's a, you know, a gap closer too, so honestly, that's not bad, boom, you're to somebody, um, it honestly is pretty fucking cool, I don't think they should have added it, but it's awesome that it's here, um, I don't know why DK needs an extra 10% damage done, but I mean it does help with build diversity if you don't have coil, or if you don't want to run coil, you now can slot chains and uh, get it. Plus you have a gap closer, so that's uh that's that's cool, bro. You know, honestly, 10% more damage done, and it also gives you um, speed for a few seconds. So if you hit somebody with it, you get speed for three seconds. How far does this go back? So to there. That's a good bit. But uh, yeah, guys, that's what I wanted to cover for that. Um, that's honestly, I like the change. It's pretty cool. Was it needed? I don't know. Uh, you guys, let me know if you think it's a bit a bit over buff or if it's you know should be fine. I don't really see a huge problem in it. I mean, like. I don't think it's going to change the game that drastically for Dragonite, but hell, I, what do I know? Um, it could, honestly. Um, I, I can probably make some builds with this, magic or stamina. I might be switching over to a mag DK, just because, honestly, like, I like stamina, but half of the skills are magicka that we use on stam DK anyway. Uh, our main stam skills are fucking Venom Claw, Noxious, and half of whip, right? That's the only stamp skills we use, and vigor. If you play a more meta DK, I guess you could say. Not like, if you if you play like uppercut and stuff like that, that's a bit different. But um, I used to play that. I'm not a big fan of uppercut anymore. It's kind of boring. But yeah. Um, so yeah, ten percent more damage done. There you go, guys. <laughs> And, uh, and it costs like what, what 3.8k yeah so it's not it's not that big of a cost I mean it is it is pretty costly but like it won't really hurt you that drastically I feel like for extra 10% more damage it's a small sacrifice to make for salvation you know like yeah pretty much thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy hit the like button subscribe button down below um, I know this ain't really that big of a bit video and it didn't really cover much besides just one skill but I play DK a lot, so I want to get this out there for them and, who, and the people who do play DK, Magic, or Stamina. Um, but yeah, 10% more damage done for 10 seconds. Um, I think it's honestly a cool change. I know some people were like, why did they do this? I mean, you know, it, it's Zoss. They do some crazy shit. But should they have changed it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. But... I already had 10% more damage done in my kit from Sea Serpent Coil anyway, so them just doing this just kind of makes me not have to have the slow, which is honestly pretty cool, uh, for me at least, but uh, yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, uh, yeah, and uh, peace, it's your boy VGN Vex here, peace.